Hey guys, this is your host, Mary JM from Mary JM's Ghostly Adventures here in Victoria, BC, and of course I'm by the Maritime Museum again. If you haven't seen the video I did on Matthew Bigby's ghost, please check it out. But he does haunt this area, including the people who were buried in unnamed graves. Also, haunt this area. So, it is very haunted here. The old Maritime Museum. Here in Victoria, BC. And once again, this is your host, Mary Jam. Mary Jam's Ghost Adventure showing you onto BC. Written on spooky websites, printed in ghost books, recited by storytellers. When it comes to the city of Victoria, it's said that we are no doubt haunted. This is what some of our video looked like after we came back from shooting a story on spirits. I first thought a ghost is messing with our camera. Luckily, it was just a minor technical error. Whether you believe it or not, there are people in this town that make a living at chasing ghosts. We met up with a group of paranormal investigators called Beyond Belief, checking out this city's holy grail of spooky places, Judge Begbie's courtroom in the Maritime Museum. He became the first Chief Justice of British Columbia and this actual building was built for him. The room that we're in right now is his courtroom. That's where he did most of his cases. You know, I, I've done hundreds of investigations in the UK and I would say the Maritime Museum is probably one of the most haunted locations that I've ever investigated in. Leading the investigation is Don Kirkham, a clairvoyant medium of over 12 years. Don says this means she has a sixth sense. I, I rely on my intuition to nudge me in directions and um, the trick is to pay attention to it. She's met other mediums who volunteer their time with Beyond Belief to do private and public investigations. Dawn and her team will use an assortment of objects to connect with spirits, things that you already would expect, such as recorders and cameras, but they'll also use symbol items like a glass or some dye, a scrabble board, and even a ball. One tool Dawn showed me was an audio recorder called an electronic voice phenomenon. She says it can pick up sounds we're not able to hear. So we took a seat in what's said to be the most active corner in the courtroom and hit record. So if there's any spirits in the room that would like to talk to us, can you come and talk to us through this device? It can pick up your voice. Were you tried in this courtroom? Were you a juror? Or a member of the family of somebody who was tried? So I can't tell you how many hours of footage I've listened to and heard nothing back. So it's very, very rare to get something back and when you do, it's a phenomenal experience. Since we didn't register anything, Dawn let me listen to a past recording. She believes it's a voice saying, go away. And the out almost sounds like there's like an Irish brogue to it, like bite. Another way to record video, infrared cameras. This monitor shows four of them set up around the courtroom designed to capture anything unusual. 99.9% .9 of orbs are dust um, or insects that just, you know, the, the, the play that they have with the IR camera and the, the lights make them look fascinating. We only caught dust today, but Dawn says that's still part of the experience. I play with the equipment, experience what we experience, talk to us and then, you know, make up your own mind as to whether, you know, you think there is something going on when we transition from our physical bodies. 
So whether you're a believer or a skeptic, it's an experience that just might get you thinking about the supernatural. From Judge Begbie's courtroom in Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz for The Daily. For window weather, when we know that every inch is sailing homeward to me. He's turned ever seaward to see us home, boy.